Hello guys, welcome back to another video of our uh, VLSI series. So in this example, we are going to be calculating the worst case width and the RC delay for the circuit represented by this Boolean expression here. So A plus uh, A prime plus B dot D and that's our Boolean expression. And I've already constructed the circuit here, the CMOS circuit. So the first question you may have is that why have I drawn this portion inverter here? Uh, yeah, obviously I forgot. So this inverter is basically there because, you know, uh, the output of every CMOS uh, circuit is automatically inverted. And since there is no complement in our Boolean expression, then obviously we need to add another inverter to get this, you know, this Boolean expression right here. Because if I didn't add this inverter, it would basically give me the complement of A prime plus B, B dot D. So that's why I needed to add this. All right, so let's get started. The CMOS circuit is very simple. I've already explained this in the previous videos, won't go through it again. Remember that, you know, a dot in PMOS is parallel and plus is series. So that's why A prime and B and are in series and D is in parallel to them. And the inverse happened for the NMOS, the pull down part. So let's start with the pull up part. We're going to be calculating the worst case width. And the pull up part consists of basically these uh, three uh, PMOS. And these two are in series and this one is in parallel. So obviously, if these two, the series connections are on and this one is off, then we will get our maximum resistance. So R plus R will give us a maximum resistance of, sorry about that, will give us a maximum resistance of 2R. And as per our previous formula, the coefficient of R is 2, the general width of a PMOS is 2, and multiplying will give us this, the worst case width of 4. So that's done. Next, for our pull down um, circuit, we have our three NMOS connected in the reverse manner. So, for the worst case scenario for our maximum resistance, we can consider uh, this PMOS, this NMOS to be on, and this NMOS to be on, and we can consider this one to be off. I could have also done it in the reverse way. This could have been on, and this one could have been off. It's the same thing. So if this one is uh, one of the parallel NMOSs are on and this uh, series NMOS, of course, it has to be on. So if these two are on, we will get this two uh, resistors in series like so. And our resistance will again be 2R. And since the width of a general NMOS is 1, the total width of a single NMOS in this pull down network will be equal to 2 whereas the width for the PMOS uh, network was 4. So we already calculated the width of every transistor in our circuit, and now all that's left to do is calculate the total RC delay. Right, so before we can move on to our main circuit, which as you can see I've pasted here, we need to talk a little about the RC delay of a simple inverter. So there's not much for you to understand here. We already know that the general width of a PMOS is 2 and the general width of an NMOS is 1. So for any, uh, you know, inverter, simple inverter, CMOS inverter, uh, the width of the capacitor of, you know, PMOS is going to be 2 and the width of the capacitor of the NMOS is going to be 1. So why is that basically? Let's consider, uh, right, so let's consider this point here, this output point here. It's directly connected to the capacitance at this drain. It's directly connected to the capacitance also at this drain of the NMOS. And this is 2 and this is 1. So together, they're going to make a total capacitance of 3. All right, so I hope that's clear which is why the capacitance at A prime is going to be 3. Now let's consider for the gate input. So we have another capacitor here and we have another one here and it's the same thing. We're going to get 2 plus 1 which is also equal to 3. So capacitance at the gate will be 3 and also at the output it will also be 3. 
so I should technically say that this is delay but you know you get what I mean so 3 is gonna be here and 3 is also gonna be there now let's move on to our main circuit so what you basically need to know is that capacitances they cause the delay and this is why the first step in our calculation is going to be identifying the capacitances that are connected to our output that are directly connected to our output so I'm just going to do that quickly here our output is here so we have capacitances at this yellow cross we also have gate capacitances here you know uh, of this uh, PMOS and this NMOS we also have capacitances here they are connected to the drain of these two uh, NMOS and the drain of these two PMOS and if you notice carefully this A prime input it's also connected to this point here so we are not done we also have uh, capacitances from this inverter output we have this um, gate input for this PMOS and we also of course have this gate input of this NMOS so now let's just start you know labeling them and see how much they are so as I've discussed here already the output capacitance the output delay of any simple inverter is basically going to be 3 so we're gonna get 3 RC delay here and that is a very rubbish color so I'm gonna change that there we go so we're gonna get 3 RC at this yellow cross and we also saw that the gate uh, a delay is also 3 because you know we've calculated there so we're also gonna get 3 RC at this point and now let's talk about this main point here it's connected to as I just mentioned before um, it's connected to there you go so it's connected to this capacitance uh, this capacitance and this one and of course it's connected to this one so remember that the delay of a single capacitor we calculated it this one is going to be 4 and uh, this one is going to be 4 so the total there is going to be I'm just going to call that point X so we are going to get a total delay of 12 at that point because of the four directly connected uh, transistors okay so I hope I'm clear at that point if I'm not clear if you need some more help freely feel free to leave you know a comment and I'll explain it further there so we got 12 RC here at this point next we have to move on uh, to this final point here and remember we are, we are gonna have three at this output because of the inverter we are going to have a uh, four at this input it's already written there I'm just gonna write it again and of course we're gonna have two at this gate input so the total at this point it's going to be three plus four plus two and we're gonna get nine so I'm just going to write this total as nine okay so we've calculated the delay at every point therefore the total delay is just basically adding them up together 9 plus uh, we got all right let's write it like this 9 R C plus 12 R C plus 3 R C plus 3 R C so we're gonna get a total of 27 R C and that is our answer okay so it wasn't so hard was it the more you practice these the easier it's going to get so stay tuned for the next video i'm just gonna you know 
go through some more examples. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye-bye.